Uh, it was amazing. It was great. Uh, first of all, just a feeling to be back on the court playing basketball. And uh, on that stage, it's the World Cup, the French national team against the best uh, nation of the, in the world. Um, and uh, this experience being successful for us, it was, it was great for, uh, for, for me, for us, and uh, it helped me a lot. I learned a lot. Uh, how uh, good I can be uh, uh, playing basketball Sim- uh, is simple uh, on both, both sides of the courts. Uh, so, uh, you know, competition like that bring me uh, uh, a lot of confidence. The first person I wanted to go see this summer was Frank. So uh, this summer I went to see Frank first in L.A. And we went to have lunch and just spent a few hours together talking about, you know, how do we handle, you know, getting that body healthy and, and really getting his mindset back to being aggressive and confident. He needed to feel that success. He needed to see that ball go through the net a few times. Uh, and, and to beat the USA team, you know, just for him and for all of his teammates, I know that was a big moment. Uh, and the fact that he was the catalyst of that uh, really, really did some good stuff for his confidence. Watch, watching the way that France used him, is there anything that you were, was able yeah, to Yeah, I studied the heck out of him, and uh, it's, it's really what I've always said about him. He can be on the ball, he can be off the ball. He can guard multiple guys on the court. Um, I just I feel I feel like it's, it's limiting him by trying to just pigeonhole him into one position. And uh, I stole a couple of their sets, too. I'm just looking at myself as, as being the best version of me. Know, and, and doing whatever I need for the team to win, regardless of what it is. I got to do my job, and uh, you know it's all about uh, fulfilling your role. You know, it don't matter what it is. I just, just got to come out and do me. And you worked on your shot, whatever changes they were. Did it start out like not in a five-on-five setting, and then you started in the five-on-five setting? Like, how did that it, it started out for probably about probably about a month and a half. But really, just. I started out in the chair for maybe a week and then just working on my mechanics, how I'm supposed to finish on my shots and uh, what mechanics I'm supposed to go through on each shot. I started out like that, and then it's probably about two months before I really got into 5-on-5. Five five. You know what I'm saying? How has it been, you know, just scrimmaging with these guys, I guess, before training camp, and now how has the shot felt in that setting? I still feel good. Yeah. I still feel good. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put them up. I'm going to let them fly.